In this nice video, let's learn how to work with tables when this is part of the chapter of the numeric integration, but probably you're surprised to see a table here. So I did explain before in my previous classes that information can be given in many ways. Uh, usually you see a function f of x equals say x squared plus 3. And then we just taught you recently how to find the integral of that using numerical integration, right? Or maybe you see a graph and now in your homework I know you're struggling with all those detailed uh, shapes of graphs and we're using left endpoints, rectangles, midpoints, right points, Simpson's rule or trapezoid rule to approximate these guys using graph of function. But what if the function is given as a table, which is actually part of the data science. Indeed, usually the data is collected as pieces of points, input, output, input, output, input, output, and something you can observe and write down on a piece of paper. So for example, a radar gun was used to record the speed of the runner during the first five seconds of a race. Use the Simpsons rule to estimate the distance the runner covered during the five seconds. First of all, let's remember that if the speed is given, it's exactly what we have. We have t time. The function v of t is um, the given function here. With every input, we have the output. So this is how you should see it. Input 0 gives me output 0, 0 0.5 gives me 2.4, and so on. But if I want to find a distance, I need to integrate this velocity, right, to get my distance distance covered and that's why we're going to be using simpson's rule to do that well and that's why we're going to be integrating and we're taught to use simpson's rule let's figure out first what is my a b and all the other things we usually do for those methods what is my a what is my b what is my delta x in this case is delta t right and what is my n n is number of sub intervals all those things are needed for the formula and to understand how to use Simpson's rule. A is a starting point zero. Again, a starting point on the interval, not as the output, if you remember. That's the input. Uh, B is the last point of the uh, interval, so that's five. Delta T is a step size. Either you understand it from the table, or you find it as the formula B minus A over N, which I'm going to do both ways right now. But what is my n? n is number of intervals. Well, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Is my n 11? Question mark. No, you should understand the difference that whatever I just counted was number of points. It's literally data being collected. At 0 it was 0. At 0 0.5 it goes up a little bit. At 1 it goes up by more to 6.05. And so on. So it's actually a data. If I have 11 points, then how many intervals do I have? You, uh, you always should see that you have one less intervals than number of points. If you don't believe me, that ca then count. Jumping from 0 to 0 0.5 gives me one interval. From 0 0.5 to 1, one more. So second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten n is 10. Even though we have 11 data points, we have 10 sub-intervals. Sub-intervals. So what is my step size then? 5 minus 0 over 10, which is 0 0.5. Or you could see the pattern, what is the step size from 0 to 0 0.5? From 0 0.5 to 1, from 1 to 1.5, from 1.5 to 2. It was indeed 0 0.5 step size. So both ways are good. Now, the most important uh, we want you to know is uh, the formula for the Simpson's rule. Simpson's rule, 10 sub-intervals is, first of all, remember you have step size delta t divided by 3, that's part of the formula. Then you have the pattern. The first term, f of t sub 0, and the last term, f of, how many do we have? The, uh, remember, t 10, we have 11 points, that's why if we start from 0, we should end with 10, remember that? Now, these ones have one coefficient as 1, and then you have the pattern, 
four two four two four two and so on so if i have one and one over here i'll have four two and four and two and four and two and four and two and four and you always should end up with four and start with four and this only works if we have even number of sub intervals so we cannot use simpson's rule if it's odd number of sub intervals that's important or else two two for two for two for two is not going to work so i'm going to have four f at t1 plus two f at t2 plus four f at t3 plus 2 f at t4 that's a lot of writing i already can see now 4 f of t5 you can speed up this video if you want f of t6 i'm trying to be faster and then 4 f of t7 almost done 2 f of t8 and finally 4 f of t9 that was much worse than i thought okay that was a lot let's check that i did not mess up four two four two four two four two four did not mess up and one one at the end that's the formula for the simpsons rule the beauty of the problem given as a table that you don't have to calculate anything you don't need to calculate t sub zero and then plug it into your f we actually are not given the expression for f so everything is given in the second row uh, second line so we just need to plug everything in into the formula delta t is 0 0.5 divided by 3 and then you have all the numbers you need starts with 0 plus don't forget coefficients which is 4 times 2.4 plus 2 times 605 plus 4 times 7.3 you see where i'm taking it here's my 7.3 605 2.4 and 0 now gonna be 2 7.9 plus 4 9.2 plus 2 9.9 .9 plus 4, 10 and 35 plus 2, 10, 8. Finally, plus 4, 10 and 9. And the last one was times 1, 10, 9. Whoa, okay, good. Grab the calculator and then calculate what the heck this number is. And this number is approximately, I'm a genius, so I just know, no, I'm joking, I have everything in my notes. It's approximately 40.13333. Put it in the box and be satisfied. So this is actually a very nice, uh, fast example. If you have it in the form of the box, it's much faster because everything is given. So that's why people work with tables in general. If you are going to data science major or actuarial science you will be working with data data like this also medicine and so on and it's uh, pretty convenient to know how to work with these examples well hope you liked it and see you next time